Hey, welcome back to another Layer by Layer. Today we're taking a look at going from 1 to 3D to Fusion 360. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the main three things, pan, orbit, and zoom, how they're different, how they're the same inside of 1 to 3D and Fusion. So if you look at Fusion 360, there's been an update where you can now import or upload rather your 1 to 3D X files natively into Fusion 360. That's nice, but it doesn't actually let you edit the file. So here I have my um, 1, 2, 3, x file. You click on the open details in 360, and it'll actually launch uh, your web browser, uh, log you into your uh, Autodesk account, and they have this thing called A360, which is kind of like Dropbox. It's like a web dashboard for your Autodesk projects. So it's kind of cool, but it doesn't let you actually edit your file. You still have to do a zip copy extract your SMT file to an SAT file. So you still have to do that. And I do have that video in my playlist and linked below. So you can check that out if you still need to do that. So let's take a look at 123D. Right click is your friend in 123D design because you can orbit when you right click. So that's really easy and I've come really accustomed to it. Zooming is uh, you use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And then to pan, you can click and hold the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel and uh, pan around like that. So you can quickly switch from panning to zooming to orbiting. So in Fusion, if I right click, I get this little menu. And this is a cool menu because you can uh, create all sorts of things. You can change your workspace without having to go up here and, and mess around with that menu with the pretty icons. I like doing that, but it's nice to have this. You'll probably end up using that um, you know, when you get more accustomed to it. Let's take a look at the panning and zooming. So zooming is actually the same. It is, uh, you use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out, so that's the same. And if you hold down the middle mouse button, well, you can pan, so those two are the same. Uh, one thing I'll note is if your panning is inverted, you can reverse that <laughs> by going to Fusion 360 Preferences and then come down here to Reverse Zoom Direction, so you can change that. I have it activated. And then I also have the Pan, Zoom, and Orbit shortcuts set to Alias. Okay, and I also have a constrained orbit, so that's that's what mine is. But you can play around with those and see if one if you like one over the other. Uh, so to actually orbit, all I have to do is hold down Shift, and then use and then click and hold the middle mouse button. So what I want you to do is to practice switching between uh, orbiting and panning. So you can zoom in with the scroll. You can pan by click and holding and click and hold and then hold down shift and then you can orbit. So everything is done with that middle mouse button. So I want you to get comfortable with that as it took me a little bit. And once you get comfortable with that, you can stay with it because when you go back to 123 design, guess what? If you hold down shift and click the middle mouse button, oh, I can rotate and orbit. When I switch between the two apps, I have a more consistent way. That's just a quick look at getting comfortable in Fusion, moving from 123D to Fusion 360. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.